Hello and welcome. In this segment, we're going to talk about link unfollowing and message extensions. My name is Tomomi, a cloud advocate, and I'm here with Rishabh, a product manager for Outlook Extensibility team. So, hi, Rishabh. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Tomomi. It's great to be here. All right. So, both message extensions and link unfollowing has been available for teams. But now these features are extended to Outlook as well. So can you tell us about that a little bit? So message extensions and link unfolding is one of the most used features of Teams. And I'm glad to inform our audience that we are bringing the power of link unfolding and message extensions now to Outlook. This will allow our developers to reach uh, users not only on Teams, but also on Outlook. And we are planning this with three major capabilities. One is link unfolding, search message extension and action message extensions. Mm, okay, that sounds great. But now, especially for the audience who are not really familiar with those capabilities, can you show us some examples? Sure. So let's start with link unfolding. Through link unfolding, whenever a user inserts a link in their email draft, it will automatically transform into a rich interactive card that shows more information about the link's content. So let's take an example from one of our Microsoft developer partner called Priority Matrix. Priority Matrix is reaching out to the users on both Outlook and Teams through their extensions, enabling them with easy task and project management. So here is a demo which is created by Priority Matrix. So here I'm taking a sample link from Priority Matrix and when I paste a link in the email draft, as mm -hmm. you can see, it has unfurled and has providing much more richer context to the users. Mm -hmm. You can see how the link has transformed automatically without user intervention. Now, when this email is sent to you know, your recipients, they will be able to consume information or take action without leaving Outlook. Awesome. You know, I always wanted a pre preview of a link destination. Because it's so much better than just clicking the mystery link, you know? So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what about search message extensions? So sometimes links are not available and you are looking for the right information that mm -hmm. is stored somewhere in your service or application. For example, mm -hmm. if you're looking for a particular ticket or order, you can now search for those items directly through the installed message extensions. Let's take example of uh, Priority Matrix again. Here, I go to the store and see that Priority Matrix is installed. I launch the app, type invoice, and then click on the search information. As you can see, a rich card is now inserted in the email. These are known as search message extensions. In fact, without leaving Microsoft, I can get more information on this card by simply clicking. In this case, view item. So you can see, you know, a whole new big screen has opened um, directly in the Outlook and I can get more information here. This functionality is better known as stage view. Hmm. Okay, wow. So I can consume all this information without ever leaving Outlook? Absolutely. Wow, so... Okay, so now let's talk about action message extensions. So action message extensions take this a step further mm -hmm. and help you end users to even create information. That is, it allows users to create items in external services or application all while composing email. So let's see a demo. So here in Priority Matrix, if I want to create a new task based on the email I received earlier, I can just start composing the email Go to the Priority Matrix app and select Create Item. A rich task module opens up and where I can create a task, you know, select a project, set a due date, and add all the details that I need to. I can now insert this card into the email body so that when I send this email to my team, that can be easily tracked. Hmm, that's great. 
you know, and I believe there is a large number of users, you know, who use Outlook on mobile phones. So what's the plan for the developers to build message extension apps for their mobile users? Yeah, so many users like to read their email on the go. And to make sure that we address the needs of those users, I'm glad to inform you that consumption of link unfolding or message extensions, rather than the rich cards we have been speaking of, can be done in Outlook iOS and Android. Let's see how the priority matrix card will look in Outlook mobile app. As you can see, the richness of the card is still in this Outlook mobile app. Now here, if you want to see more details, you click on view item and it directly takes you to the priority matrix website. Great. Now that we understand what link unfurling and message extensions are and so how they work. But does it require another SDK or develop a tool to build one for Outlook? So you can turn your existing message extensions from Teams to Outlook with minimal work. Mm -hmm. You just need to update your app manifest to 1.13 mm -hmm. and above, register your bot to Microsoft 365 channel and resubmit your app for validation. Note that Teams App Manifest is now called Unified App Manifest, which works across Microsoft 365 ecosystem. That's nice that App Manifest can make apps run on more than just Teams now. Oh, and we've got Teams Toolkit too, right? And for the viewers who are not familiar with the tool, Teams Toolkit is an extension for Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. And that helps developers to build Teams app, like, you know, code scaffolding. So, Rochelle, does the tool help developers to build apps for Outlook as well? Yes, absolutely. You just need to select message extensions project template when creating a new application and register your bot to Microsoft 365 a bot channel, just like you must have done for your Teams message extensions earlier. Cool. So you don't really need to learn anything new if you are already familiar with Teams app development. Absolutely. And that's what our goal has been, that you build once and deploy everywhere. That's great. So when can everybody try this out? So link unfolding and search message extensions, including stage view that we have shown you earlier, is available in public preview on Outlook on Windows, web, iOS, and Android. We will be launching it to the worldwide audience pretty soon. Can't wait to see them in everybody's hands. So before we leave, there has been a lot of conversations around AI, you know. Are we planning to bring this to message extensions? Yes. In fact, we will be using artificial intelligence to improve the discovery of message extensions. Let me leave you with a vision video teaser on how things might look like in future. Uh, this video was created uh, with the help of our partner, SurveyMonkey. Looking forward, we are working on building rich AI-powered experiences with Context IQ and more coming in the pipeline. Here's a quick sneak peek of some of the future interaction patterns in M365 with our partner, SurveyMonkey. You'd be simply able to add mention SurveyMonkey while typing your email to find the app at your fingertips powered by Context IQ. This would open the app where you can either create or choose a survey to share, which you can review and insert in the email. This inserts a rich survey card into the email with actions which a user can send out. The email recipients will see the rich survey card and can click on Take Survey, with which they can take the entire survey without ever leaving Outlook, safeguarding their productivity. Alongside, with rich AI-powered experiences, we can enhance discovery of apps by showing a flag on identifying user intent, in this case, for sending a survey. On hovering, users will find the SurveyMonkey app suggestion from which they can insert a survey card. This enhances the user's typing experience by recommending the right app at the right time. This will also help discovery of the app for users who don't know about it today. As per SurveyMonkey, a large majority of their customers are Microsoft users, and these integrations will help reach a large share of the user base on Outlook, while enabling them to stay in the flow of their work by reducing friction. Making SurveyMonkey easy to discover at the user's fingertips is a key value for them. All right. Thank you, Rochelle, for sharing this valuable information today. 
Thank you for having me. Take care. Bye. I'm sure you want to learn more about these features. So visit this link here and see how you can improve your productivity and collaboration in Outlook. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.